In this section, we're finally going to make our tip calculator app. So what are we going to be doing? Well, we've got to create the app visually. Then we've got to go ahead and do the math inside of there. Basically, we're taking the Swift skills that we learned in the last section and we're applying it to building an app. Remember when we learned about storyboards and view controllers and how we can add things in there? This section is bringing all of that together in order to make this tip calculator app. So we're going to go ahead and start things by building the visual side of the app. So in this video, we're going to be, you know, working mostly in the storyboard to add some text fields, some labels. We're going to put a button inside of there, but we want to make sure the app looks okay visually. Then we'll move on to coding it. So let's go ahead and make this thing pretty. All right, so we've created this tip calculator here in Swift. This is all sort of through the playground, but now we actually want to turn this into an app, you know, an app that we could run on a phone and actually input a tip at a restaurant rather than lugging our computer to the restaurant here and, you know, plugging it into a playground. So let's go ahead and start a new Xcode project. So if you've got your existing playground up open here, you can just go up here to file and say new project, just like this. And we want to do an iOS single view application. I always start with a single view application. So we'll go ahead and hit next there. Uh, then we have to give our product a name. I think tip calculator is a good name. So calculator, just like that. And for team, you don't have to specify anything here. This is only if you want to upload it to the app store. Uh, for organization name, just put your own name there. For organization identifier, this isn't very important if you have a website, do com dot whatever your website is, but again, don't worry about that. For language, we want that to be Swift and devices, keep that at universal and then have none of these selected below. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit next. It's going to ask us where we'd like to save. I'm going to save mine on the desktop. And we have a brand new Xcode project ready to rock and roll here. Okay, now the first thing that I think we should do is visually create the app. You know, we want to have a place where somebody can enter in what the bill is going to be for this meal. I'm assuming that we're using this at a restaurant. It could be in other places, but they should have a place to put in the bill. They should have a place to choose what percentage they want for this. And they should be able to see then, you know, what the tip amount should be and then what the total should be after that. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on our storyboard. Remember, the storyboard is where we do anything visual for our app. And this is where we're going to add some things to the screen so we can get stuff working here. So the first thing is we want a place for someone to put in the bill. So uh, let's go over here on the right side. This is where we can add elements to our app and we wanna click this little circle with the square inside of it. This shows everything that we can add. And so we wanna scroll down until we find something called a text field. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click this and just bring this up to the top of our app, all right? And we're going to have this be where they put the total amount of their bill. Below this, we also want to have a place that they can put in what the tip percentage should be. So we're going to go ahead and bring uh, another one of these text fields, put it below there. Uh, but we should have some sort of way to identify what should be going inside of here. So I'm going to grab something called a label. And I think that's above these. There we go. And I'm going to put them above both of these text fields. And it's basically a way to say, you know, uh, this is what is going to you know let the user know what they should be putting inside of each text field here. So I'm going to say bill colon like this and I'm going to make sure that this guy gets centered. All right. And that means that you know the bill amount should go inside of here and then we're going to add another label right above this one right here. And we're going to have this show what the tip percentage is. Just like that. And I guess we, for consistency's sake, let's put a colon after that. Let's make sure we recenter that one more time. So there you can kind of see we've got this nice, you know, look here saying, okay, this is what the bill should be. This is what the tip percentage should be. Then below this, we want to have entered some text showing, well, we have should have a button probably that says calculate below this. So let's grab a button. All right. And we're going to put this below the two text fields. And if you double click this button, you can change uh, what the text is inside of here. So I'm going to call this uh, calculate. All right, make sure that this guy is centered. Looks like it already was, but want to confirm there. And then we're going to bring out two more labels, one to show the tip and then one to show the total. So I'm going to bring out this label, all right, below the calculate button. And I'm going to double tap and say that this should have the tip and it might be, uh, you know, tip colon and then put something inside of here like $15. All right. And then 
We're also going to have another label below that that's going to show the total. So if we double click this, it might say, you know, total colon and put something in there like $115.00. So make sure that these two guys get centered again, just like that. Excellent. And the next thing that we want to do is, you know, go ahead and give this a run to see what this app is going to look like. So there's a way to make everything on an iPhone screen uh, in an app that you're creating look good on different iPhones, right? So there's all different sizes. There's the 7 Plus, which is a really big one. There's the regular 7, which is smaller than there's like the iPhone SE. It's even smaller. And you can see down here we're designing for the iPhone 7. You can change this if you want to, you know, be like the 7 Plus, for example, or maybe make it all the way down to the SE. But I think the 7 is kind of a good representation. And you know, talking about how we can lay things out so it looks good on every single screen is a little bit outside of the scope of this class. But in my next class, we're going to be addressing that to show you how to make that look good on every screen. So the thing that we just want to confirm is that whatever size we're designing for down here, like iPhone 7, that we choose the same simulator up here. So for example, I don't want 7 Plus, I want iPhone 7, iPhone 7, these two things are matching, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Run button here, which is going to uh, start up the simulator so that we can just see if visually our app looks like it should. We haven't done any programming yet, but you know, we just want to make sure that visually this app is everything uh, that we want it to be. So uh, we're going to wait a second here and see the simulator come up. Here you can see our old Swift code. I'm going to move this simulator back to, uh, oh, that's right, we made Xcode full screen. So I'm going to change the size of my simulator. It's a little small right now. So I'm going to change the scale. Let's see what it looks like at 75%. That's good. We can, you know, sort of see everything. This looks pretty good. So, you know, I can put, uh, you know, the bill inside of here, put something like $45 and, you know, the tip percentage as something like 15, okay? Uh, and then we'd have to, you know, when we hit calculate, take these two numbers and do some math with all of this. But that's what we're going to be covering in the next lecture. So for now, things are looking good. Good job.